Kelsey Grammer is an Emmy, Golden Globe, and Tony-winning actor and producer who will forever be known as one of TV's iconic characters, Dr. Frazier Crane on the hit shows Cheers and Frazier. Yeah, Kelsey's now starring in a new movie, though. It's based on a true story. It is called Jesus Revolution. It's about a spiritual awakening in the 70s, and Kelsey plays a pastor who opens his church to a new wave of parishioners <laughs> from an unexpected place. Let's take a look. Dad, I am telling you, there's something about this guy. We talked all night. He pretty much blew my mind. I spent the night with him? He could be an axe murderer. Anyone could be an axe murderer. Look, just listen for 10 minutes, and if you think he's crazy, I'll throw him out myself. His house has a very good vibe. <laughs> Do you throw them out? I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, no, they all end up living there with him. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. It's Kelsey, pretty great. It's so good to have you mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And we want to get to this movie because we find it to be fascinating. Mm -hmm. But we have to talk about Frasier. Okay. Yeah. There's a revival. There's yes. a revival. It's done. It, we're, we're, we've shot two already, and uh, the audience seems to be pretty responsive. Uh, he's uh, It's Frasier's fourth act, really. When he left uh, Seattle in the previous show, uh, he went to Chicago. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole... Yeah raft of time there that uh, we were would discover a little bit about but uh, mostly he's now he's going to Boston he wants to go become a a, a writer of uh, critical novels mm. uh, and uh, it doesn't quite work out <laughs> what's it like revisiting that character because obviously the character has grown over time so what what did you do differently this time around? Yeah, well he's uh, he's a little more mature he's a little he's got a little more wisdom wisdom about him uh, but he's still a little bit silly and 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 uh, takes certain things more seriously than most people do, and uh, that's that's his character. But uh, it's really fun to play him again. Could he be back at a certain bar? You know, the one uh, where everybody Well, there is mention of a certain bar. Is it still open? But uh, I don't know. I'd heard it had gone kind of, you know... <laughs> you know Belly you know, up you know, in the pandemic? Expression. Belly up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my, I have a four-letter word in my mind. Uh, <laughs> um... I, someone recently told me that they, they were there, so uh -oh. I guess it may still be happening. Well, what about the rest of the cast that people knew, Niles and Daphne? And the Niles and Daphne are not coming back. Uh, if there is a, a spot for like a you know a one-off uh, mm -hmm. an appearance, and they're interested, yeah, I'm sure we would do something like that. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, it's a new world, it's a new life. Frazier's going back to Boston to kind of uh, Put himself back in a place where he didn't feel like, like he'd quite made it. Ah. Where he, he left his tail between his legs a little bit. Uh -oh. And he wants to feel like he's conquered it again. He, we went, he had such high hopes for Boston in his life. Mm -hmm. Fell in love, fell in love again, got divorced, mm -hmm. had a child, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> There's a lot going on in his life now that um, it's pointing him back home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to talk about this film. Uh-huh. It's set in the 70s. Yes. Yeah. Which you were, a, like, a teenager or a child in a the teenager, 70s. Yeah, yeah. And we saw a picture of you with, with a nice long do. Yes. yes. By well, the way, I like those locks. Yeah, they're, oh. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Look yeah. at you. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like to relive that time? Uh, it was great. To be, to be actually on the film set and to be surrounded by people that I look familiar to me, like, yeah. like were in my childhood, was an extraordinary thing. And everybody, what it reminded me most of was, in our time, the love, the uh, sense of community, uh -huh. the things that we all had, it was real. And I, I miss it. Yeah. And uh, who knows, maybe this film will bring some of that back. But the light in people's eyes then was, was genuine and uh, sincere. And there was a connection of faith. It was extraordinary. It's beautiful. What were you like in the 70s? What were you like as a teen? I was a surfer. Yeah, you were? Yeah, I was a surfer who, uh, you know, I, I discovered acting when I was 17 and thought, oh, I could do this go. for the rest of my life. Well, uh, how lucky that you discovered it so young, yeah. you know? No, it was, it was a good thing because I really had nothing else. I was either going to be shaping boards or... Uh, or, or be an actor. <laughs> well, you, uh, I was interviewing Steve Harvey, and he said the people who are always successful are the ones without really a plan B. The ones who are just like, mm. this is going to be... Did you have an, uh, another plan? I always had a, a saying in my head. My, my grandfather had always taught me, he said, you should have something to fall back on. And as I, as I, He died when I was 12. But um, when I chose acting, I, I thought, if I have something to fall back on, I probably will. Wow, so you so, did. Oh, so you uh, didn't give I yourself didn't. something. Well, that's... No, there was just one thing. Mm -hmm. I know, and look how it's worked out. It turned out okay. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> um, so Valentine's Day, were you all here? Did you? No, I was out. I was out at Rutgers last night at the at the basketball game. Uh, it was a prearranged thing. I'm, I'm selling a beer. I mean, it's a beer company called Faith American, and. Uh, they, they carry the beer there, so I went out and made an oh, appearance. Oh, I didn't know you had a yeah. beer thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh. what's it called? Faith uh, American? Faith American, yeah. How is it? It's great. <laughs> is 
<laughs> it's great beer. We just, and we just came out with our fourth flavor, which is a double IPA, which is it's quite brilliant, actually. So all the flavors are really good. Oh, my God, flavors of beer. Okay, I know. So, and how's your wife? How's your beautiful She's wife? She's fantastic. Is she? Yeah. Look how you light up. Absolutely See? wonderful. I just, I just let me say her name, Kate. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, uh, so yeah, cute. Yeah, she looks pretty good there, yeah. yeah. She's beautiful. <laughs> the other thing that we love is that you've been acting alongside your daughter. Yeah. You and yeah, Spencer yeah. were just in a Christmas... Yeah. Spencer was a little upset that they did some article a while ago in New York Magazine or something that said, uh, oh. oh, you know, nepotism in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I she was that. so upset because she said, I spent 25 years trying to be known for something other than your daughter. <laughs> and the first thing we do together, she gets hit for it. Oh, no. But uh, it was a great experience. She was wonderful in it. And uh, we're actually talking about making another movie with her, but with me just sort of as a cameo in it, but uh, about this other character sort of finding... God again and Christmas and love. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, we're so happy that you came to see us, Kelsey. Yeah, this is Thank such a great so, project. It really is. It's called The Jesus Revolution. It hits theaters on February the 24th. Make sure you check it out. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Kelsey. Thank you.